Hi, I'm Josh. I'm Ollie. And it is Jolly Christmas time! <laughs> We're going for... <laughs> it's Christmas time! It's the jolly time of year! It is the time of year to be jolly! Exactly! People. But it's present time today and we've been shopping for presents over the last couple of weeks. I first had an idea for this about six months ago. <laughs> What? And it's you taken, are the king of the overthink. It's taken a lot of organising, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm pleased with the results, God but I, I am a little nervous. How many do you have? I have three, but one of them contains multiple presents. Yeah, okay, me too. Oh wow, me too. A cluster presents. That, that wasn't fun. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You go first, because then it will it will soothe my nerves. Then I'll be able to gauge whether mine is good compared to yours. All right. All right. Oh. Initially disappointing. What do you mean? Where's the wrapping? Christmas tape. From Amazon. You didn't do that. I'm, oh, no. I'm a busy man. I've got emails to answer. I've got videos to make. You know, there's almost no pain. <laughs> like the pain you feel when you love someone and they don't love you quite as much back. <laughs> oh, you're killing me. <laughs> All right. You're killing me. Come on. Uh, well, who knows, maybe it's great. Just, just open it. Just open it. All right. <laughs> wow, that is... It looks Amazon, like... guys, you really did not put any effort into that. It's just an empty box with that in it. <laughs> this looks like a demonic wind chime. <laughs> demonic? Probably the two worst colours perceivable to the human eye combined. Alright, Mr. Graphic Designer. So, this is a face sculpting face massager. Oh. So that perfect V line. Ah. <laughs> Wow. This is weird. I don't like doing that. You can do it no, to yourself. I like it. That's what it's it. on. <laughs> what do you think? Is it relaxing? Relaxing wouldn't be the first word <laughs> that came to mind. But yeah. I want to have a business meeting with this. <laughs> and just like negotiating a really hard bargain, proper <laughs> RBF. And just like, what do you make of our offer? <laughs> <laughs> It's not the worst present. I had pretty, I had rock bottom okay, expectations. Okay. Thanks, man. It feels like it's straining against the size of my head. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you, man. Well, Come so on. this needs a bit of explanation. You are a sneakerhead, right? Yes, I love my sneakers. And recently you were one of the few people who was able to purchase an off-white pair of trainers. Yeah. Off-white and Nike collab. What would you say is distinctive about those shoes? Oh no. You're an idiot. <laughs> you are an idiot. Can I open it now? Well, the thing can is, they're basically it? like Everyone normal, at home already knows normal what this shoes. Is. Everyone at home, can I open it? Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> right? These are my slippers! Yeah. I was looking for these! Well, basically these, these off-white shoes, they're like normal shoes, but they just attach a tag and they become 10 times more expensive. Did you take this off of my off-white No, I bought loads from China. <laughs> it says off-white on it! So, these are the what? world's first collab. Dr. Martin. Dr. Martin is the world's first. You just wrapped my own shoes. You haven't worn these in a while, and now they're ten the times day. more expensive. You... They're like height of fashion. <laughs> You're an idiot. I think you it's after a while. Such an idiot. I ran out of wrapping paper, so I noticed it's only ever on the left shoe. That's so true. I just started wrapping the left shoe. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get me any new shoes? Are they all just my own I shoes? Obviously I didn't get you any new oh, shoes. I... Flipping cable ties stuck to them. All right, what do you think? Uh, I feel pretty good about my first present yeah. now. <laughs> Not gonna lie. I mean, that was clever. Wit. Yeah. <sighs> we can, I'm gonna have to chop all these off now. <laughs> now, I'm stepping it up for my second present. Wow. Blew quite a lot of the budget. Really? Yeah. Is this the most quite expensive? Yes. Wow. Because it's a multi-present. Okay. All right, you ready? Yeah. Ooh. Oh my gosh. What? Yeah. Now, a lot Holy of our viewers... I've this is a lot of t-shirts. <laughs> a lot of what? our viewers have commented on how you have the most insane t-shirt collection. I, I do, I pride myself. And so I thought I would help you expand. <laughs> expand no that t-shirt collection. Way. That's probably my favorite right there. Yours is good, that me? Good first one. No, that's Nicolas Cage. That looks a lot like me. Which is one of your doppelgangers, and it says Jolly Old St. Nick on it. Incredible. Christmas t-shirt. Wow. I honestly thought that was me. <laughs> what, what? 
<laughs> You're a little bit disappointed. That's what I was most excited about. Okay. Ramo. Hang on. This one, relevant to our conversation we just had. Let, Let me overthink, overthink this. this. Wow. <laughs> it's both a gift and an insult. <laughs> I'm not sure I'm going to wear that. Uh, you better. You need to wear it in at least one jolly episode. And you think about it for a while. That's week or two. Not, I can't, no. <laughs> my so gosh, Josh. Overthink. There's so many. Oh my gosh. Another one. <gasps> Dwight. <laughs> <laughs> you said that like the name of a long lost lover. In like a bare skin. Incredible. Talking about how you love the office. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes, this, this is my favorite. Yes. 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 Wow. Dwight himself would be proud. <laughs> my aim so. with my t-shirts is I want to know that if I go on a date with Lizzie wearing it, that she'll be deeply embarrassed. Okay. <laughs> I honestly wouldn't approach someone who was wearing this. <laughs> yes, mate. Nice. Look at the fit. Oh. We could face swap you with that face. I don't even think anyone would realize. Thanks for that, man. You're welcome. Yeah, that's very kind. You know, I wanted to get something that you would appreciate. And every time you wear them, you know, you can think of me and how good of a friend I am. Okay. Well, that in a way is a nice segue into the next present. This, the next present I'm gonna give you. Yeah. I am nervous about. Oh dear. A couple of months ago, <clears throat> we started having a kind of semi-serious conversation about what we want to happen when we die. Right? <laughs> and I was, I, I've always thought I want to get buried, right? Uh, and you were yeah. like, no, I want to get cremated, man. Yeah. And I was like, what? Yeah. I, like my mind was blown. But then the more I thought about it, I was like, that's kind of cool. Yeah, you're, you're pure soul from that point. Who needs the body? Exactly. Ashes in the sea, spread me over the earth. From dust we are made, from dust we shall return. Exactly. Anyway, that conversation just stuck with me, right? Okay. And Where the anyway, heck is this anyway, going? anyway, I think it's probably best. It's kind of morbid. It's probably a little early <laughs> to be buying one of these, but I thought of like, yeah, just what? Oh, I'm nervous. This is heavy. This is disturbingly heavy. I honestly am pretty nervous. There is no way this is what I think it is. <laughs> Gabby is, Gabby is looking shocked. <laughs> so I got it pre-engraved. <laughs> because it's, it's expensive to get it engraved. And also, I thought it'd be good to put your catchphrase on the side. <laughs> Honor and Yogi Kaji. <laughs> It was really complicated to get I this in grey. Believe you did that. When I told Chris, he was like, "It's really dark, man." It is kind of dark. Well, like death is part of life, right? And you I gotta mean, prepare. The end of it. You gotta prepare for death. This is so heavy. This is gonna last for a thousand years. You're gonna be living in this way longer than you're gonna be living in this house. I won't be living, will I? <laughs> That's true. I think we have a distinct form of shock humor. Basically, the more you can shock the other person, the generally the funnier it is. And there are some lines and boundaries we don't cross. Death. This is pushing the line. Do you this think... is pushing the line. I think it, I'm just pr preparing. You said you wanted to get cremated. Wow, that is 100% weirdest gift anyone has ever given me. You're welcome. Let's just take a, a moment. <laughs> We're obviously joking. Oh, it's wow. based on a conversation that me and Josh had. It's gonna come eventually. Exactly. It's gonna come for it's everyone. Natural. And hopefully we'll get a good few years. Just do our best in the meantime. But that's the, this is the gift oh, of friendship. That I... <laughs> it's amazing, right? That is amazing. That's probably the best thing that could be written on it ever. For my final gift, Ollie, as I said, I wanted to upscale, you know. I wanted this to be the most special gift. Okay. So I thought long and hard about what to get. And I thought, what is something that I can get you that's meaningful, not only to us, but to our viewers as well. Oh. And you know, I actually thought back to the Namde Moon Market episode. Okay. Where you so wanted to buy a baby monkey. Well, uh, not a real one. A lie. <laughs> <laughs> that is a good clarification. Josh. What? Let's you know that I want one of these. No, you don't. I'm being serious. <laughs> you can't buy a baby monkey, Ollie. Why not? It's my birthday next month. But the thing is, yeah, in the past, I've bought you something similar. I've bought you a scaled down, lifelike 
gorilla. Keyword being scaled down. And I could tell you were not happy with the scale down. I don't want ratios. You wanted it. I want one to life one. Life size. Yes. <laughs> to the point where someone has to, for a, like a split second, be like, is that real? real? <laughs> yeah. No. No, it's not. <laughs> But that did get me on another train of thought. Okay. This is the end result. Wow. <laughs> oh no! I think I might know oh, what no. this is. <laughs> and if it is, Josh, this is a home run. <laughs> yes! It's a home run! It's a home run! <laughs> this is the best thing I will receive this year. Happy Christmas from a life-size cobble cutout of the Queen. Incredible. <sighs> Total legend. <laughs> Total legend. Winning? Incredible. That is the best present I think I've ever received. <laughs> She's kind of looking at Arm, me a little bit creepily. Ready to wave, yes. handbag on fleek. <laughs> Thanks, man. You're very welcome. I love it. I'm gonna put it next to our bed. Right next to the bed. In our okay. room. Okay. I wonder what Lizzie will think. Oh, she'll hate it. She'll. she'll <laughs> absolutely. She will hate, hate that. Is this the finale, Ollie? It's the finale. Okay. Yeah. I'm not nervous about this. Really? I know that you're gonna love this. <laughs> okay. It's so good. I didn't even wrap it. Oh yeah. That's when you're confident. Exactly. Nice. All right. I like where this is going. Oh. <sighs> This is the unicorn of all whiskeys. So this is a, there's a funny story behind this. Shortly after we had got the deal to do the Olympics in Pyeongchang, we went to uh, one of our favorite whiskey bars in Seoul and we ordered this like random whiskey that neither of us had tried. It was a recommendation, I think, a recommendation. the owner of the bar. And we were like, that is the best whiskey we've <clears throat> ever tasted. And Josh and I are big, big whiskey fans. We love whiskey. Yes, we are. And he was like, well, enjoy it because this is probably the last bottle in Asia because the Glendronach 15 is sold out everywhere. Freaking was like- And they discontinued it. It's been like 10 months. But I found out that about a month ago, they did yeah. a limited run revival. It's all sold out now. Are you serious? And I managed so to- So this is completely discontinued whiskey? Yeah. Yeah, this isn't an expensive whiskey. It's just a rare whiskey. Yeah, whiskey, but best whiskey I've ever had, I'd say, easily. My favorite whiskey. There you go. Got a whole bottle of it. That Just is mental. Dude. Kind of mind blown. Well played. Have I? That is some seriously good research. Have I got it? some good street cred back <sighs> after the, after the street credit. cremation um, debacle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Gosh, that was a flipping emotional roller coaster. Yeah. You took me to a flipping urn and then. My favorite ever present. This is the thing. I would say tee up your big present with a really like vaguely offensive <laughs> present. <laughs> As for you, t-shirts, great. First yeah. thing, great. Yeah. And that, I mean, I'd trade a hundred bottles of whiskey for that. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Anyway, we want to wish you a jolly Merry Christmas. Indeed. And thank you for being with us this year. It's been a very special year. It has. Crazy, how long has Jolly been going now? Almost two years. Almost two years. What? And we're about to hit a million subscribers in the next couple of months. So thank you to all of you guys who are with us on this journey. Wow. We love all of you individually, but not in an appropriate way. <laughs> uh, we've got like loads of amazing stuff coming up in the new year. Yeah, we do. Please stay tuned. And uh, we're gonna be taking a little break over Christmas, but we'll be back, I believe, January 4th. Wow. With something very special. And then maybe like a week later, properly start the next season. We'll see you jolly soon. Have a very, very jolly Christmas and a jolly new year. See you later. Bye. Bye.